Good morning, this is Mayor Valensky with Driving Markets. I hope you're well. Okay, so let's just start off with a bit of usual caveat. This, I'm not an investment advisor, not a financial advisor. This is not an investment advice or financial advice. It's pure and opinion only. What you make is yours, what you lose is yours, and that's it, let's move on. Okay, so today we've got the big number out, inflation number in the US, the Consumer Price Index, the CPI, and it's gonna be reported at 08.30 UK time. Um, that number, what's expected, is expected around about the 9.5, 9.6 level, but I'm gonna call it to the 10.2 level, retail inflation. Um, I think inflation is much higher than that. I've said all along for the beginning of the year, inflation is running at around about the 20% mark. You can tell just by the cost of living. The cost of living across the Western globe has just gone through the roof. I mean, we talk about Europe, UK, US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. I mean, the whole lot is just super expensive. Um, all started obviously with Corona and then continued with the huge stimulus packages that were brought in by the Trump administration and obviously Biden finished it off completely because the Democrats haven't got the foggiest idea how to run the economy. In fact, they're running, they're, they're running the economy into the ground. Yeah, Joe Biden and his cronies that Obama hold set up there within the US. It's just an Obama government, but it's run unefficiently, directed and managed by Barack Obama behind the scenes. He's never actually left the White House. He's still there, probably in the small office next to Joe Biden to make sure that he's put to bed and given his cocoa. Um, anyhow, let's move on to a bit of financials. So today you've got the uh, Consumer Price Index, as I said, which is going to be the big mover. Now, assuming it comes in um, higher than expected, that will push down all high-risk assets like the Nasdaq and the high-techs into a, into a uh, free fall and also things like crypto because they're totally based on liquidity and low interest rates. So when interest rates rise, then it's going to be less attractive to invest in those high-risk assets. Um, over the month of August, it's a very, very quiet month. Um, and therefore, if the number comes in in line, then you're probably going to have a continuing move up in financial markets up until September, when markets will probably be sold off. Um, overall, my opinion and my feel is that the markets are too high and the markets need to come down significantly. And they're likely to do that by the end of the year, especially as energy prices continue rising and will continue rising through the winter months. I don't know if you're aware, but there's a shortage of energy or an attempt to save energy in Italy and Spain, and they've limited the air conditioning units in public spaces to 27 degrees. And um, just moving on slightly, to the cryptos. The cryptos yesterday have been saying that 24,000 on Bitcoin, it's looking like a sell. Well, it did happen and yesterday dropped over 1,000 points. So that was a pretty good call, it was a good guess. And I, it is, it is um, range bound between 22,000 and 24,000. And therefore it's gonna float down from 24 to 22 and then rise up from 20 to 24 until that range is broken. That range will be broken based on um, economic factors that is going to influence the marketplace, whether it's going to be rising inflate, further rising inflation or further rising interest rates, or maybe even corporate profits being affected. Now, looking onto corporate profits, a massive semiconductor chip maker called NVIDIA dropped 6% on Tuesday, yesterday, overnight, Monday, Tuesday, when they reported pretty damn bad results and that sent their shares down. Also Micron, another semiconductor manufacturer, uh, came out and said they're not going to reach analyst expectations and they were also downgraded. Now NVIDIA came off because the whole gaming sector has dropped in terms of um, demand and in terms of profitability and that's had a big impact on NVIDIA because they make chips for the gaming sector. Um, interesting how the gaming sector has come off. I haven't looked into that too much detail, but I'm going to look into it and see what's happened to the gaming sector, why it's come off. Now, semiconductor chips are interesting. I would personally be a sell, but one of my colleagues who I speak to on a daily basis said that un unpredictable, what could be today a sell or going short, is that overnight or quickly on the spin of a sixpence, they turn around and then they become a buy. It's very, very volatile with the semiconductors. You've just got to be aware of that. All right. Um, regarding FX, the dollar, what you're going to have, 
the dollar will go up on the basis of higher interest rates or higher inflation. If inflation beats numbers today, the dollar is going to rise and the market's going to fall. Mayor Valensky driving markets. Have a good day.